5.1 New York Hip Hop and R&B. What's going on, guys? Now Simone here with a very special guest all the way from Augusta, Georgia, TK Kravitz. Yeah, how you feeling? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You are. I saw you had a crazy show last night. It was crazy, man. Packed uh, me house. My, yeah, me and my brother. Packed house in New York City. For sure. It's how crazy. does it feel? It's a blessing, you know, um, especially coming where we come from. You know, a lot of things like this don't happen, so I'm just very appreciative of everybody, you know, behind me in my corner. Fans, fans was going crazy, and it really looked like, like on stage, like y'all have like, uh, you're on tour with Jacquees. It looks like y'all have like a strong brotherhood. Yeah, we've been friends. We've been friends for um, for many, many years. You know, um, you know, so it just comes natural. You know, when it's when we're in the studio too, it just comes natural. You, know? you guys were friends before the music. Yeah, well, when we first started, you know what I'm saying. So okay. yeah, yeah. So that's so what that's what brought got, us together. Like, your fan bases. Way before that's this is what that's what brought us together, you know, um, music, you know, that's just dope. the admiration. I mean, just the just the want to do the music, you know. That's what brought us together. I love your song "Oceans" together. It was yeah. like on repeat when I when I like find a new song I like, I like have it on repeat until mm -hmm. like I get sick of it. And those were one of my songs one week. So, uh, what made y'all want to record that? Um, you know, nine times out of ten, when we're in the studio, we we normally don't record because you know we just be hanging out, we just be vibing, we just got all our partners in the studio, and you know we just hanging, you know. Yeah. And that particular night, um, I've been working on this record for like a day. You know, I usually, if I don't if I don't get the vibe, I just move on to the next song. You know, but I knew like this, all I had was I'm lying if I said I didn't want it, and that's all I had. You know. And every day I would add another piece. If someone would just not let me finish it, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so that particular night, um, I was just I was like, yo, pull up that one I I, I was working on the other day. And uh, it just you know it just struck, and he was already on the way to the studio, so it just you know it just happened like that. I just told him to get in the booth, and, you know, he just did it. We got in the booth together and did it like together. I feel like a lot of artists don't really um, like get in the studio together and vibe out. So the fact that y'all do that, I think, is a good dynamic, and it reflects in y'all work. For sure, yeah. And queer beast. Did you expect for that song to get as big as it did? Yeah, I told him. I told him like, yo, get come get in the booth, bro. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? You know, um, just I knew, bro. I, I, I mean, I, I'm. I think I'm pretty good at that. You know, I just don't know when. But I'm pretty good at like A and R my own records and stuff. You got a good ear. For sure. Yeah. So how's tour life been treating you? How do you like it? Oh, it's it's, it's um, you know, it's cool. It's just, you know, them flights, damn bus and all that be killing me. It's busy. You know what I'm saying? I, He's yeah. like, yeah, we're here for 24 hours. I'm like, oh man, all right, let let me try to figure for, something for sure, out. For sure, for sure, for sure. You have time for like yourself? Like, what do you do in your downtime? Sleep. That's like, it. What I, where, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, on the road, you know, I ain't really recording like that. But I'm, I just, for the mo like, for the most part, just, you know, sleep, watch documentaries, hang with my son, my off time, um, and yeah. You said watch documentaries. Yeah. Like what? Like what do you? Just whatever, bro. Documentaries taught me so much. You know, like I wasn't like I wasn't the best student. You know, I wasn't the best student. So, um, it just, I don't know. It's just. Brought me back to speed, you know what I'm saying? Just about everything I just missed from not paying attention in school, and mm -hmm. I just learned through. I, and I also found out I'm a visual learner. You feel okay. what I'm saying? I'm like a very, like a very, like visual learner, like you know. So what makes you think that you weren't the best student? You're just saying like grade wise, or you just didn't like going to school? I ain't really like school at all. Like you know what I mean? I, of course the 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 perks of like you know the girls and you know social what I'm saying? showing all social yeah okay. social life, but. Uh, as far as like being like a like a, a good student, paying attention and actually doing my work stuff, I was never that like. But you know, I was heavy into sports, and the only way you can be on a team is, you know, you got oh you gotta keep a GPA up. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I was actually on two teams, so I had to get double. You know what I mean? So I was, I was like a straight A student for like. That's fire! Two what are you seasons, talking like about? Like two two. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm saying I could do it. I ain't saying I'm dumb. You I just, I can like, do it now. Yeah, but okay. I just that wasn't my interest, you know. Especially with them when I got into music, then it was really over with. You know, me high school. Creative. Yeah, then it was like, yeah, I'm over with. So I saw um, when you went to Genius and you were like breaking down your lyrics. You said that you're a military brat. 
Mm. That's so dope. I love that. Where have you lived? Mm. Like Hawaii, Panama, Seattle, or Tacoma. Um, well, Panama. I said Panama. Yeah. Um, California. Mm. Boom. Yeah, that's that's it. That's fire. I'm an army. No, nah, and they well, I used to live up here to um in Watertown, New York. Some some, mm-hmm. but I don't. I I was a baby though. I don't really remember Panama or um, New York. How do you feel like that shaped you? I feel like being an army brat for me, like, it taught me not to limit myself because I'm just so used yeah. to being everywhere. So how yeah. do you think that shaped you? Uh, plenty of ways, just culturally, you know, just like I, I know about uh, all type of cultures, you know, and I surround myself around all different type of people. You know, my cameraman is, is Asian right here, man. One of the coolest, <laughs> one, of the, one of the coolest guys I know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just it just teach you teaches you how to deal with different you know people you know what I mean it's it's like like a no judgment zone you yeah know? It's, it's weird yeah I like that I respect that so I saw you got nominated for iHeart Media's Best New Artist of the Year yeah that's big that's yeah. really big how do you feel about that I I I don't know I don't think it'll hit me until I get to the awards and then I see my name like being nominated you know yeah yeah nothing really ex- like I'm not saying nothing to excite me, you know, but nothing really like. I don't really get excited beforehand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you kind of just take it as it comes, right? Exactly. Like I've been let down so many times from being overexcited, and then it don't go the way you think it's gonna go, and then it's just like, man, you know. So I just try to like take everything in stride, just enjoy the moment instead of like, you know, looking to the future too much. I feel that. But either way, you got the nomination. I did that. Long, so like, did that. Yeah. I appreciate everybody supporting me and behind me, you know. So what's next from you? What can we expect? Um, man, new project. You know, I'm not gonna announce the name now, but I just came with it. Um, I'm just, I just got re-inspired. I was going through like a little situation where I couldn't really create how I want to create. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost, you know, over that situation, and um, so I'm just ready to drop new music, new tape. Um, new singles, new videos. I got a new single right now, mine featuring Kevin Gates. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a video. It's so crazy. I haven't dropped yet, like I said, due to my my situation. But, you know, so I'm dropping that real, real soon. That's fire. What was it like collabing with Kevin? That's another one of my good friends. We've been friends for years. Yeah? Yeah. But, like, you know, before he really got hot, you know, I was like, we was always kicking it. You know what I'm saying? I feel saying? like everybody music. in the South... Already knew, like always, already. Nah, it's always like that, you know. Cause, like, I don't know. We just like social, I guess. You know, I come up here, y'all just like bumping to each other and stuff, and like don't say, I know. excuse me and it's thank different. you. It's like, yo, it's like, hold on, you're not gonna tilt your head or your head or something? No, <laughs> n- nothing. No, my bad. No, my apologies. Nothing. <laughs> Right. So I take it you don't really like New York that well. No, nah, I love New York. Oh, okay. I love New York, but I'm saying it's just it's just different. Like that's why, um, you know, when people say like Atlanta or Georgia, they always stick together. It's like we just we know how to say thank you. We know how to say you know what I'm saying like appreciate it. Right on. Yeah. So it's it's a little different. Yeah. Not saying y'all don't, but like walking through these streets, in New York is crazy. <laughs> oh, so what are some things that you that keep you inspired? Like R- real life. You okay. know, real life, even the good or bad, you know, so like, I get inspired by anything. You know, I get inspired by, I might go to the studio tonight and talk about this interview. You know what I mean? It's just weird for me. I just get inspired, you know, just different ways. So, um, yeah, man, that's, that's what keeps me inspired. Just that's life. Experience. Mm-hmm. Nothing nothing better for people to connect with than that anyway. I like that. I appreciate you. And I feel like the fact that a lot of people be like, r and dead, but actually it's not. Like, we have artists like you. And Jacquees and Brent Fires and uh, mm-hmm. Kalani that are like putting out records. So, what do you feel like um, you bring to the table as far as like R and B goes and bringing that back? Well, I don't really have no cape on my back trying to bring R and B back. I ain't, I never like consider myself R and B. Never. I don't know how yeah. that happened. I don't know how that happened. What do you consider yourself? Music. You know how Wayne got that I am music tattoo. I, I should that. go get that because that's just me. You know. Whatever I feel at that moment, I'm going to do um, if sing, rap, tap dance, whatever I feel like. You know what I'm saying? It's just music, period. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I consider myself, like I said, just music, period. I love that. I mess with that. All right, cool. Trap and be goat. Trap and be goat. 
that's that's hard. Facts. Is that just that's your hashtag? You gotta run with that. Trap and be goat. I like that. Facts. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let everybody know where they can follow you on Instagram and where they can stream your music. Yay. It's TK Kravitz, you know. Follow me right now. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. TK Kravitz, T-K-K-R-A-V-I-T-Z. Everything, the same damn thing. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, peace.